So what does respawn in Strand and D? This is one of the questions new players tend to ask a lot when they first start the game. And honestly, it doesn't matter if you're playing on console or a PC. It's the same question. To understand everything better, I decided to break everything up into three subcategories. First, what is respawnable? Second, what is not respawnable? And third, what is farmable? And the farmable is really important here because some items that are not respawnable in the wild when you harvest them can be planted and farmed, making them respawnable in the game. Some food sources like fish, which can be caught with either a trap, fishing rod, or fishing spear, and seagulls hunted with a bird snare are infinite. They're always available and you'll never run out of them. And bats, which come out at night, can usually be found hiding in palm trees during the night. Small crabs and boar are all respawnable sources of food. Now, when it comes to respawnable crafting materials, however, the list gets pretty short. Yucca and palm saplings can be harvested for the fibrous leaves that they drop and are used to craft not just lashing, but to refill both your water still and your fire. They're all respawnable. Now this means, unfortunately, that predators like sharks, lionfish, both land and water snakes, large crabs and large hogs are also respawnable as well. So if you think you've cleared an island safely, I'm here to tell you you haven't. Just leave for a while and come back. You'll see what I mean. And oddly enough, bosses are also respawnable, making them killable more than once a playthrough. Although I don't recommend it. These items will keep you exploring simply because they just don't respawn, include things like cloth, plank, sticks, and rocks, usually found in wrecks or laying around on the beach, don't respawn. Which brings me to my next point, loot found in wrecks and wood crates found in the world won't respawn either. Harvestable nodes like rocks, clay, even trees will not respawn. Consumable items used as an ingredient in crafting that will not respawn include things like ajuga, which you use in a breath boost, pee, pee which is used in antipoison, and aloe used to craft sunscreen. Even food items like potatoes, fruit, and coconuts will not respawn. However, it is possible to harvest things like potatoes and fruit and plant them in a farming plot, making them respawnable. When done this way, a once unrespawnable item like potatoes, for instance, becomes respawnable, making farming extremely valuable to survival and progression in the game. Farmable items like potatoes, for instance, can be used to produce fuel to power things like your gyrocopter and any boat motor that you may be using. Yucca, even though this is a respawnable item in the wild, you can pick a shoot off of it once you've harvested the plant, making it a farmable resource for things like fibrous leaves. And fibrous leaves are useful for everything, from your fuel still, to your water collector, to your fire for your food. And even if you don't plan on making a large farm, consider growing in the very least pee, -pee for antipoison. And trust me on this one, you're gonna need it. Now, if you plan on using any kind of motor or beating the game, you'll have to farm potatoes for your fuel still, there is no way around it, you're gonna have. And if you'd like to know more about consumables like antipoison, for instance, then go ahead and check this video out right here. If you found this guide useful, consider hitting the like button, or if you have any further questions, then leave those down in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.